What's up, Techno be here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be tackling an issue that you're probably experiencing at some point or another with New World. I'll quickly fire up the game to give you an example. Now, of course, with a game like this, close to release, there'll be a ton of server and game related issues. But of course, if you're receiving this specific issue or issues similar to it, where you're unable to connect to a server at all, this may be the video that you're looking for. Currently, there is an outage with Facebook, WhatsApp, and other services, and it could be related to that in some way or another, and of course, maybe completely unrelated. But in this video, I'll show you some solutions for connectivity issues, lag, etc, etc. Let's see if I'm still getting this error. So, firing up New World, clicking Continue, and Play. Let's see if I'm able to connect to the server. Probably not. Aha, uh -huh. well... As you can predict, when I'm recording a video, things work smoothly. Okay, well, for the past probably 20 minutes, I've been struggling to click play and actually connect to the server. I've been receiving multiple different errors. I usually get stuck and booted back to the main menu here with the play button now grayed out, or I can click it again and it grays out and just stays there. What can we do to try and fix this? Well, there's a couple of different solutions. The first one is by choosing a different route to the closest available server for you. For me, this was the solution, and of course it'll step around firewalls and other things that could be blocking the game in the first place, and that's to simply use a VPN. Now, of course, you can use any VPN provider, NordVPN, ExpressVPN, literally anything out there, just to get a different route from your computer to the server. Now, of course, there's only EU Central, and me being located in South Africa, I'm very far away from it to begin with. But whenever I tried to connect to it, it wasn't working properly. So when I used my VPN, I connected to a London VPN, and then I was able to fire up the game and play as per usual. Things worked very smoothly, and in fact, I had a more stable connection than previously, because I now have a different physical path between my computer's network connection and the server's network connection. It's just as simple as that, connecting to a VPN can solve your issue, and it's probably only going to be a temporary one as you saw there. I wasn't able to play, I disconnected, tried to show you the issue again, and things are working properly. Maybe it was an issue that was solved by picking a different route, maybe not, but using a VPN solved it there for me, at least temporarily. There are some other solutions that we can try. To begin, it's a very good idea to right-click New World inside of Steam, click Properties, then on the Local Files tab, make sure to verify the integrity of game files, just to make sure that nothing is missing or corrupt. It's also a very good idea to check your internet connection, such as running a speed test, and of course, if you're using a wireless connection, try connecting through Ethernet, the physical cable, before troubleshooting any further to make sure that it's not an issue with your Wi-Fi connectivity. Of course, moving closer to a Wi-Fi router could improve stability, ping, etc. If your internet's slow or you have bad ping, make sure your computer's not downloading anything in Steam, Origin, Epic Games, even something as simple as Windows Update can cause connectivity issues, especially on slow connections. If you're currently using a VPN or a proxy, try disabling it and see if you can connect to your server then. Of course, I did suggest that you try one in the first place, so if you're using one, try playing without. If you're playing without, try playing with one. It's just as simple as that. If you'd like, you can run the built-in network troubleshooter for Windows, hit start, then open up the settings window. Head into update and security, and then locate troubleshoot over here. On Windows 11, this will be under the system tab. Then look for additional troubleshooters and click that, wait for it to load, and then look for the network adapter troubleshooter. Run this, select the correct ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter, and then see if it can find any issues. It might find issues, it might not. This may not work for you, but if it does, this is probably the solution that you're looking for. Otherwise, there's a couple of commands that we can run. Hit start, type in CMD, and then click run as administrator on the command prompt app. Inside of here, we'll be typing some commands. IP config, one word, space, forward slash, flash DNS. Hit enter, and then we'll type in IP config slash register DNS, Hit enter, then ipconfig slash release, enter, then ipconfig slash renew, enter. After entering all of those commands, enter net sh winsock reset as such. Hit enter, and now we've successfully reset our network connection. You may lose internet for a couple of seconds, but when it comes back, things should be reset and working properly. 
If you'd like to reset the adapter in another way, in the hopes that that may work, open up the settings window the same way as before and head into network. Inside of here, at the very bottom, you'll see network reset. Click this, then reset now, and your computer will then be restarted. This will reinstall all network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Keep that in mind as this is a Hail Mary to reset basically everything related to your network adapter and see if things work properly. On Windows 11, inside of Network and Internet, you'll need to go to Advanced Network Settings and then you'll find the Network Reset button down here. If you're using a third-party antivirus or firewall software, make sure that you've whitelisted newworld.exe. Opening up Steam, right-clicking New World, hovering over Manage and clicking Browse Local Files, you'll see this window here. We'll open bin64 and inside of here, you'll see newworld.exe. Make sure that this is whitelisted in any third-party software. And of course, if you'd like to test it, you can temporarily disable your firewall software and see if it works properly. If it does, make sure it's whitelisted properly. To allow it through the Windows firewall, hold start, press R to bring up this dialog here and then type in firewall.cpl and hit enter to bring up this window over here. Now, of course, mine's managed by my antivirus, but you'll click allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall over here. Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to show you the next screen, but you'll see a list of programs in there. Click allow another app, then navigate across to this folder here that we opened earlier, select newworld.exe, and then click open. Then what you need to do is locate it on the list after hitting OK and adding it to the list, then make sure that both private and public are ticked next to it to allow full internet access for the program. Do the same for the file in the previous folder over here, the New World Launcher. And that should be probably about it for the tutorial. If you're still receiving network connection issues, then it could be the server that you're connected to, one of the worlds on it, or of course, any other issue along the way. With the new game comes lots of issues and you do just need patience to get around things properly. Talk to other people who play on the same world and server as you to see if they're having similar issues. And if they are, then rest assured it's something that will be fixed in due time. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!